Great, thank you, Danny. Well, I just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight. My name is Jason Langsner. I'm the other co-chair of ConnectGen with Michael Newman, and also uh, someone that's actually incredibly inspired by your words tonight. So first, Danny, just to prove to your daughter that you were here tonight and we love what you were saying, <laughs> a quick thank you, President. And honestly, I couldn't think of three better young professionals than these three gentlemen here that were able to share their wonderful story and inspire us all. Um, I'd like to give out the presents appropriately first. <laughs> and then quickly close with a couple quick notes. Um, as I mentioned, um, to our panelists, your success and drive have truly inspired my, myself. And just looking at the eyes and the questions that have come out, I can see that you've inspired everybody else as well. So again, thank you so much for what you've said and what you've done for our community and for your own business. You know, um, speaking of our wonderful <coughs> audience, thank you for being here tonight. This is the start of a new program, Connect Gens. We are affiliated with the Jewish Federation of Greater Washington and the network, but this is the start of something new. So thank you for coming out and for the people that have patiently stood for the last hour. Thank you for all saying that, uh, waiting around. Um, a special thank you goes out to a few individuals. Uh, first, to Kenny Ames and Danny Mincer, who are co-chairs for this event. <laughs> to our wonderful panelists and speakers, as well as all the Jewish Federation professional staff. Without all of you, this night could not have been possible. So thank you so much for all that you've done for tonight and everything you've done for the community. As Michael referenced at the start of our program, Connections is a subcommittee of the network, which is a group of local business and civic leaders from the Jewish community who share common Jewish values and philanthropic ideals. We are thrilled to be part of the network and are pleased to see so many of the network leadership in the room tonight. Thank you for coming out. But before we close this part of the program, I'd like to make some announcements and share a brief story. You know, the last time Tech America had this many people in this room was in 2006, when we welcomed the newly elected Speaker of the House to the office. So, we're not here tonight though to talk politics, and we're not here to talk about Tech America. We're here for Federation, to connect generations, and make connections within our Jewish community. Yet, I make the reference to 2006, because that was also the year that I went on birthright. It was also the year that I attended my first Jewish Federation event. I grew up in a secular household, and I'd say that my Jewish identity was at best cloudy, if not non-existent. But after returning from birthright, I received an email from the Federation asking me to participate in a photo exhibit and fundraiser that was supporting Ethiopian Jews that made Eliyah. I didn't know what Federation was, but I've always supported the arts, so I submitted a picture, it was accepted to the gallery, and I attended the event. That night, I made my first gift of $250 to the Federation. I still didn't really appreciate what Federation was, but I felt it was a small way to give back for just going on a free 10-day trip to Israel. In retrospect, I probably could have given more. Four years later, the Jewish Federation of Greater Washington has provided me untold benefits. Beyond the new friends, many of you around the room, thank you for being here. Uh, the Federation has, has done a lot more than that. It's inspired me to get more involved. It's connected me into a thriving Jewish community, and it's allowed my Jewish identity to grow. It's educated me about my family's religion and about Israel. And I've witnessed firsthand how Federation supports our community locally and overseas. <coughs> I'm excited for Connections to be launched tonight to add to that wonderful portfolio of products and services that the Federation offers. You know, our economy just experienced a pretty rough recession. But as one of high tech's pioneering figures once said, Andy Grove, who you may know as one of the founding executives of Intel, as well as a fellow member of our wider Jewish community, good companies, I'm sorry, uh, bad companies are destroyed by, destroyed by crisis, good companies survive them, and great companies are improved by them. As individuals that are in our economy were impacted by the recession, we saw a dip in our uh, donations. But as our country begins to climb out of this recession, so too does our community. Last month, I had the privilege to join hundreds of other volunteers and experience my first Super Sunday, where all of us hit the phones and called individuals and to tell the story of what Federation was doing in 2010. Collectively, we raised over $1 million on that day. That's not just Super, it's great. So in 2006, I was motivated to give my first gift of $250. Today, four years later, 
Like so many that dug deeper in Super Sunday, I am proud to join the Ben Gurion Society, which is the national group of young leadership that, do that donates at least $1,000 a year. We've got this little cool sticker on our label. <laughs> but don't worry, I I'm not here tonight to ask you to give $1,000 gift. But what I would like to do is actually, when you are thinking about making your 2011 commitment, consider the benefits that Federation has provided you. And if you've fallen on tough times this year, consider how Federation can support through networking like tonight, as well as through career counseling with the Jewish Social Services Agency, which is a partner of Federation. Um, before we close, and again, thank you for listening to my story. I really just want to compel you to say that I hope your involvement doesn't end tonight. The network has a host of events throughout the year. You can grab a little takeout piece of paper on your way out. Uh, but just a few of them that I'd like to note that I felt are, are quite interesting. Um, the network is going to be having a lunch and learn coming up with former IDF soldier, soldiers that have transitioned from the battlefield to the boardroom. The Federation has an upcoming program that's going to be offering successful negotiation strategies for women. And uh, for us just looking to have a little bit of fun, we also have a happy hour coming up at Dirty Martini. <laughs> but I wanted to close on one specific event that's coming up. Uh, the June 2011 Birthright Alumni Leadership Mission, their registration is opening on January 24th. Speaking from experience, this is a great opportunity for Birthright alumni to return to Israel and focus on leadership training and development. As Michael started this program, this is where this program's seedlings were planted. Myself, Michael, Kenny, Danny Minzer, who's our fourth individual, we all went to Israel this summer on the Birthright Leadership Trip. We came up with this idea, we pitched the Network Council, six months later, we have almost 100 people in this room. So we hope that you have the opportunity to also apply, take the opportunity to go back to Israel and see what seeds you can plant as well. On behalf of the Federation of Tech America, thank you again for coming out for this evening. Uh, the night isn't over, so please feel free if you have some time to enjoy some dessert and networking. We put some sweets in the other room where we had uh, the food earlier. And also for any more information on Federation or how to get involved, look for one of the Federation staff. They're wearing these cool little badges that say their name on them. Thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the evening. This depending. Yeah. 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 Yeah.